Hey guys, let me give you a short introduction on how to use the MoreFit Slim Touch. So the first step is to remove the watch from the strap. You're gonna take it out, and then you need to plug the watch in and charge it into any USB port. And when you do that, just make sure that the tab is aligned properly, and then you can charge it. And you'll get this signal showing you that it's charging and booting up. And the second step is to download the app and it's called VeryFit Pro. It's inside the user guide and you can get it by scanning the QR code or searching in the Google Play Store or downloading it online. It's right here, easy to find. The third step is to turn on your phone's Bluetooth device and to forget about any currently connected devices. And the fourth step is to open the VeryFit Pro app so that you can add the device. And you'll just want to swipe through the different pages and to allow the app to notify you or to use your device's information. Now it'll be searching for the device. And we also swipe up on the device to wake it up. You would select the one that you want and choose Confirm Bind Device and it will vibrate upon successful completion. And then the next step is to put in all of your personal information so that it can accurately take down your health records. Choose your daily target for steps, 10,500, and your time sleep target. And now it's synchronizing, as you can see at the top. And after synchronization has reached 100%, it's completely ready to go and begin using. Okay, let me explain how to use the app. And the first part is the main page, or the home page here, where it's got your activity tracker, your sleep tracker, and then your heart rate tracker for today. And so any activity or steps that you would have made throughout the day will be recorded. The same with your sleep or your different heart rates throughout the day. Those are all recorded on the main page for today. And then under the details tab, it'll give you the cumulative results from the week or the month or the year, and it will tell you everything that's happened up to those points. Let me go through some of the features under the device tab and explain those a little bit. You can get a call alert so that the watch will receive calls and notify you for three seconds or up to 30 seconds. It'll vibrate when you've got incoming calls. You can turn that on by hitting the check in the top corner. There's a sedentary alert so that the watch will remind you if you haven't been moving or active enough and you can set for how long you want the watch to remind you that it's time to get up and move about for a bit. Again, just turn to check after you pick your timing settings. You can set up to 10 alarms with the watch and you can add them here as to what time you want your watch to set an alarm where it will vibrate as well. And just use again, hit the check to pick that. These are for notifications from other apps. If you allow the phone and watch to give you your notifications. If you have any incoming messages from your other apps, you can receive an alert on the watch and it'll let you know to allow and receive notifications there. You can use the watch to control your phone's music player. So for iTunes, for an iPhone or your Android music player, and then allow the watch to play, pause, start the different music for the apps within the phone that you want to. And so you can also do the camera remote shoot and then hold this button down on the watch and take pictures. The heart rate monitor can be set to automatic or manual. I prefer manual. And then wrist sense is a motion activated sensor on the watch that when it moves over, the watch will turn on as your wrist action activates the watch's screen. 
Under more, this is where all the new options are. You can look at activity display where it will come with eight of 10 different activities you can choose. And the phone will give you preset ones. And if you want to delete them, there won't be a display. You can add new ones too. And then pick which activities you want the phone to track. You can get the weather forecast through the, through the watch. You can choose your language setting if you want Chinese or English. Keep it on English. There's also an anti-theft alert. When you turn that on, if the phone leaves the range within the watch, the watch will notify you that your phone's no longer within a close distance. And you can also use the Find My Phone feature where when you push the button on the watch, the phone will ring and make noise so that you can find it. You can also choose the Do Not Disturb setting that the phone or that the watch will not have any notifications except for the alarm when you've turned it on. Just choose the hour that you don't want any notifications to be received and then choose that setting. And if you go to the user page, you can edit your profile and change your information if necessary. You can set your targets again if you want to edit those at all for how far, how many steps you want to take or your sleep targets. And you can also see your ranking. After you've registered, you can see where you rank relative to everyone else. And these are the last three functions under the plus tab where it's got a GPS route tracker. And so you pick your activity, here it will be running. And then it will start recording all of your routes as you do that activity. You can also select the activity that you want it to record for. And so once you choose the one, you'll begin, and then it can record that as well. And lastly, there's the weight recording monitor as well. And this is the watch's display screen that has the time and the day of the week and the date and the battery levels. Then you go to the training mode where you can pick to start the different activities. And just hit the circle to return. So relax will take you through a breath control exercise where you'll inhale, you will hold your breath and then exhale. And after you've completed it, or if you want to stop it in the middle, it'll tell you good job and you hit the check to go back. This is where messages are displayed and the most five recent messages will be displayed here. Here's the weather report. It'll give you the temperature and the humidity for the day. Here's where you control music on your phone, through your phone. And then here there are more features under the more screen. The moon is where we turn on or turn off the do not disturb screen. This is the stopwatch if we want to begin that. And to go back each time, just push this circle button. Here's where the camera shutter is controlled on the watch to the phone. Here's where you can change your display. If you want to go through different outlooks, you can select which one you like best. Here's how you turn on and turn off the wrist sensor that'll motion activate the watch. Here's where the alarm settings can be controlled. Here's where the heart rate will either be manually or automatically detected. This is where you turn the watch's Bluetooth on and off, under here. Here's where the watch can be powered on or powered off as well. Here are the language and the time and the date and the unit settings for the watch. And for the Find My Phone function, when you turn this on, you just click it, and the phone will begin to ring so you can find it. And one feature is that you can refuse phone calls with the watch that are incoming that you don't feel like answering.
so the watch is vibrating and if you want to refuse the call you can select incoming messages are also displayed and then the content scrolls automatically thank you for watching and i hope you enjoy using your morefit slim touch device